Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Guys, I hope you all are having a great day. Thank you all for all the support on the Ark series. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. And you can also subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. So I was, I was trying to get Manny Fresh to do his little boom, boom, clap. But it takes him like way too long. <laughs> boom, boom, clap. Now, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Manny Fresh is, uh, if y'all don't know, this is my mammoth, Manny Fresh. We're on our way to the bridge. You see this extraordinary bridge right here? I'm trying to get the other bridge a little bit uh, like that one. We have a bridge that stretches to the North Island. Y'all seen me use it a few times before. And it's been one narrow, or one wide, I should say. But it's relatively narrow. And uh, it's got some bends in it that make it really, really difficult to cross. And I was fortunate enough to get most of the bridge completed to two wide so that I can take uh, my little power rangers across which by the way that's what I've named my my new ape team my my, my, my rainbow dream team <laughs> my Z squad uh, they're just gonna be the power rangers because that seems to be the most fitting title but anyway I want to get them across to do some training on the North Island and the bridge is a little bit narrow so we're gonna have to do some supports but there's some funny mechanics uh, for the bridges that I've seen uh, people use and this one is no different um, MD and Joe the pirate just put together a bridge I mean a ramp on their base kind of like remember that ugly ramp that um, that me and MD had made on that episode well yeah it's it's kind of fixed and uh, it's it's a lot better and they did some some crazy black magic with the structure and the way that they're, they're supported so I'm trying to play around with that a little bit uh, so let's see Manny we probably need you to get a little bit more wood. Let me get a few more things of wood, and I'm going to go up. Really? What, what the heck just happened? You know, I've seen that happen a few times before when Brontos hit rocks. Uh, that's just so weird. Manny's going up really, really good in levels. He fills up fast, so I'm kind of I'm kind of pumping weight now. You see how slow I am now? But let's grab some wood, some thatch. Oh, he's got a ton of berries on him. That's why. Um... Wow, I should probably turn these into narcotics, but honestly, I don't even know if I have to now that I'm I'm full level. Why well, I, mean, I am gaining I am gaining XP. I guess the level cap is is uh oh wait no what's is 75. Well, I am gaining XP. Yeah, I guess the level cap is above 75. That's pretty cool. Uh, all right. So now that I got some wood, hold on. Now that I got some wood, I should have some fiber on me too, I'm hoping. Yes, I do have fiber. Let's see. I have some thatch as well. Let's just fill up with as much wood as we can. And we're going to do some wooden pillars. Eight of them should be it. Let's see what we need. Thatch, fiber. I'm going to be bottlenecking on it looks like wood, which means that I could just add more. That's the resource that I could get plenty of, which is great. And we'll just craft a few more of these. Okay, that'll be 16. That'll do me pretty good. So what I want to do here is there's a couple of spaces in this bridge. I started working on it yesterday. And there's a couple spaces on it that I am um, that I am not able to make it too wide. Uh, just due to the way that the foundation support is and the structures and stuff. So I'll show you that, guys. That uh, As soon as I get a few more of these made, we'll go. And Manny, you're going to have to be on neutral here. Let's see here, Manny. Are you neutral? Yeah, well, I don't know. I hate that it doesn't say what they currently are. If they if you go over there, tag it says aggression level neutral. Okay, very good. So I could walk with this, no problem. So the original bridge was on this side, and you could see like some of the uh, the foundations here. But you see how it just goes like... They're, they're like the foundation stop and what we start seeing is this kind of deal so there's like as long as there's a roof underneath it there you're you're able to do something like that which is weird so they connected all the ceilings with these uh, supports and as long as there's a ceiling underneath at a reasonable spot uh, or toward the ground is that those are all ceilings right yes those are all ceilings so as long as that is the case you can stretch ceiling on top of that as well that's kind of an interesting mechanic like I'm really really gonna have to play around with this idea because it really seems cool but uh, what I think I'm gonna do first of all is 
I'm going to try, let's see, actually, aside from all of these, maybe I can make a ceiling and try that. So, Manny, do I have, do you have any wood left? Let's see here. Not really, huh? Let's get a few more wood boot, Manny, and I'm going to try a ceiling to see if I could do the same thing that they did there. I was thinking I was just going to run a bunch of the um, a bunch of the pillars, but I might not necessarily have to do that. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so but we are going to need pillars, so it's not like it's a waste. Okay, I need thatch and wood for this. I should have just gotten a little bit of that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can we do just a couple of ceilings now? Yes. Two ceilings. I'm also going to put some of these on mana here. Five ought to do. All right. also need to go get my canteen that Slipgator made me. Um, back at the forge. I left it at the forge. I'll just leave Manny here. He'll be he'll be fine. I like to bring him close to the water because I'm always scared like an alpha raptor comes out of the woods or something. Uh, and poor guy, he's not going to be able to defend himself if it's, if it's an alpha. Alright, let's see how this works. So, I'm going to have to also put my... I don't need my long rifle for anything now. So let's see. We got to go underneath this gap in the bridge because this for some reason would not... The support would not go. Just to double check, let me try to position it. Yep, it says I need a wood foundation or a ceiling. Okay, so let's see. We're going to go ahead and take that off. And from the looks of it, let's see. From the looks of it, it is this one right here. So if I place, can I place a roof there? No, I can't. All right, but I can do that. And now, can I place a roof? No. All right, so can I put one lower than that? Hold on. We're going to get this. Aha! So now I should be able to place a roof. And will I be able to place a roof here? Wow. That is magic. <laughs> I love that. So that's going to be much less expensive than putting pillars all the way down like that's incredibly inexpensive in comparison you guys so that makes me think what can, can I use that for my own base let's go out here and see what I got I, I don't know how many holes I have left but you see how one wide would have been really really hard and even if they would have all followed on one wide if if they fall off in any of this it's kind of a mess because they have sharks and all this stuff down here so this is where the bridge turns and it's a little bit different. So I wanted to make sure it was two to three wide right here. And then it goes a little bit further down. And I'm tired. <laughs> but there's like, um, let's see. I'm going to need one, two, three, four. At least four. And I think there's some more further down there. Yeah, at least four. We could go on that one to kind of finish that up because... I don't really need a whole lot. I'm hoping that I don't run out of room. I mean, carry weight. But I don't really need a whole lot. And I could, I could form some trees right here. I don't, I don't necessarily need Manny to do that. And I think Manny will be safe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a few more of the ceilings. And we'll place some wood foundations and see if we can get the power ranges across. Alright guys, I managed to get one down. But uh, <laughs> it's a little bit difficult because it's very deep. And I start running out of stamina. So, well, not, I mean, it takes me a little while. But you gotta, you gotta know that that's a pretty far swim back. So, let me try this again. Let's go down here. And it's kind of hard to line up. I want to say that it has to be this second one right here. Or is it the third one? Actually, I think it's the third one. We're going to have to make sure there's a pillar on that. And that should enable us to do what we have to do. So we'll put a few pillars down. Uh, pillar. There we go. I don't know if I'm going to have enough pillars to stretch all the way across. Uh-oh. See, that one is full. I can't go any further down with this one. Oh, I can. Okay. Very cool. All right. Now, can I put a ceiling on there? That's the question. Hopefully, it it, it acts like there's a support underneath it. Nope. 
Yes. All right. So two to the left of that one. I don't know if I have enough materials for it. Eek. Um, stamina seems to be okay. No sharks? All right, good. Uh, let's see here. What I'm going to do is... I'm going to pop over... It's getting dark, too. Uh, let's see. What can I do here? I think... I'll just do this. I don't know. I don't think that's high enough, but it's worth a try. And I need to do Gamma now. Gamma 3 should be good. Alright, I'm going to have to start swimming back soon. Will this attach? No, it still won't. That gummit. Alright. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back, guys. Get some stamina and figure this out. Alright, listen up, you goons. I got this bridge done. It's very narrow. You guys are going to have to stay in a tight formation. Let's see how you do. I'm going to stay right in the middle. Let's see how you guys do. Don't push each other off now. Everybody good? Everybody in single file? Yeah? Uh, not quite. Just so y'all don't fall off, y'all should be okay. Maybe I should run to tighten your group up a little bit. How's that? Yeah, not bad. It's pretty tight. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit difficult when we come to this turn, though. Ugh. Alright. Let's see. We're gonna have to do a number like this. <laughs> Oh, a little tight right there. Alright, I hope nobody fell off. Nope. Everybody's still intact. You see how I put that ramp right there? <laughs> Just in case somebody would fall off in the middle so I could get back up. I could quickly tell everybody not to stop to stop following. And then we'd be good from there. Uh, yeah, looks like everybody's still here. Okay, two wide bridge is rock and roll. Now it's time to... <laughs> test them out for real I've I mean I've tested them out on turtles and stuff for the beach guys and an occasional Rex here and there but y'all know how the North Island is it's absolutely ridiculous Joe wants to log out at my place all right so let's see here we want to pick a big fight I guess this is about I guess this is the best deal to just get in there <laughs> and kill something all right, I see some raptors up there, and I also see a rex. Now keep in mind, I mean, this is this is a heck of a crew. The power ranges ain't no joke. I do want to check this purple drop right quick, though. Uh, let's see. Uh, it looks like this raptor is going to want some, too. I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. Fabricated blueprint. I don't think I had one of those. Well, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's my Green Ranger? Uh, all right, <laughs> over here. I stay on the green one because he's a little bit faster than everybody else. All right, let's pick a fight for real. Where's that Rex? What level is he? Um, he is 44. Yeah, this ain't gonna be nothing. Hello. So, <laughs> while I'm training here, you guys, I got a story to tell y'all. We did Survival of the Fittest yesterday. Um, oh my, was that a second Rex? <laughs> I didn't even notice. That's how you know it's powerful. Um, I did Survival of the Fittest Sub Wars yesterday. Slipgator and I got together. Drax and uh, Jobless, Garrett, Jobless Garrett was there too. And uh, we did Sub Wars for yesterday. So we ran a four hour stream with a um with and we did a few games on our new private service so slip and i just got 200 slot private servers uh that we're going to be given uh priority access to uh look it's a brian uh we're going to be given priority access to patreons and twitch subscribers on so Basically, if you guys are interested in doing anything with us for those, um, there's one tier of support only right now for um, for Patreon, which is a ten dollar level. It basically gives you to everything access to everything that I have on Patreon. Uh, we will, be, I will be introducing another tier a little later. I just don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. As far as the Twitch subscriptions, uh, if you're a Twitch subscriber, you do have access to um, priority access to that as well. I've been sending out inbox notifications. And also um, Patreon notifications. So whichever you're a part of, you'll get some alerts through there. Let me turn Gamma Gamma 3 on. 
Um, so, guys, these are just unstoppable. Yeah, anyway, um, long story short, these <laughs> these apes are like game changers in Survival of the Fist. Everybody that had one of these apes did very, very well yesterday. And uh, it was some fun games. For those of you that turned up, uh, it was it was a lot, a lot of fun. Thank you all for coming out. And we're going to continue to do these, guys. Uh, we'll just need to figure out. Uh, I want to do some, some bigger teams as well. And I'd like to do some big group events like that. I think it'll be a lot of fun. But anyway... Uh, if you guys want to know more about that, you can head over to my Patreon page. The link will be in the description below. Or like I said, if you're a Twitch subscriber, and that link is below as well. Anyway, I'm going to do some killing, man. Right here. <laughs> now that I have these guys on the North Island, it's time to just get some XP. you guys that was fun i got a lot of experience and i started to pump up a lot of the hit points of the guys what i'm noticing is helmets are breaking uh and that's really unfortunate like right here you know i'm used to saddle durability oh hold on i'm used to saddle durability and as you can see the helmet on this one broke if i uh let's let's get across the bridge here and then i'll check the other helmets uh, but yeah, it's, it's kind of, I think I should just be able to, yeah, they stay, they stay pretty attached to me. Like I was kind of worried at first how they ran, but it should be pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> they stay behind me as long as I sprint through their formations a little bit tighter. But yeah, the flak hats are going to be really, really hard to keep up due to the amount of, uh, of, of damage they take. Like I'm not used to seeing saddles taking the durability damage and it's a little bit different for... For these guys, I suppose. Let's okay. Let's roll call right quick. Yep, we got six with us. So <laughs> we're seven all together. Very good. Well, man, I've been looking around for pteranodons too. As I pass, I haven't seen any. Naturally, there's none on the North Island. They couldn't survive out there with all the carnivores. But I have been looking around, and we are definitely going to need one. Another thing that I'd really like to get into, and some people have been requesting for a long time, and I don't have any yet, is a sarco. I had one in a cave. It's just, it's, <laughs> he's he's stuck in there, and we can't get him out. So I definitely want a couple sarcos, and I'd, I'd like to get some egg forming going on. Another thing we don't have is dodo which I know every time I see him, I just kind of smack him around. Uh, but we are going to need to get some dodos. I don't know if I have enough pin to incorporate uh, as many dinos as I need, so that might come to the expansion. But I'm going to head back to base. I want to do a little bit more on the base, just a little bit of trim work before I let you guys go today because I want to try some stuff with you on camera and ask your opinion about it. So uh, stay tuned, and we'll be right back. <laughs> 
All right, you guys, I wanted to show y'all a little bit about what I've been thinking about for the rest of the build, or at least the next section of the build. So as y'all can see, I went ahead and applied that molding that I was talking about to seal that gap up. I'll show you on this side. I talked about a little bit uh, episode before last, I believe, but that gap that goes between the behemoth gate and the ceilings that I'm using for the second level floor, or uh, it, I, I can't deal with it, and I actually messed up earlier. Um... But this doesn't go out that far on this side, so it's going to be kind of tricky to run. Let's see. Actually, no, it works good. It works good. I thought it was going to kind of stick out, but... And the corners work out well, too. Like, I don't know. It's it's a nice little touch. And it's totally aesthetic. Like, it has nothing to do with, <laughs> with any sort of functionality. It just looks better. Uh, no, I don't want to take the chance. Stone walls are really, really aggravating. All right, so you see that kind of comes out the wrong way. I mean, it's not bad, but let's see. Do I have some more stone walls on me? I do not. I know where some more are, but I might have some in here too. Let's see. Uh, what the? Or two? Do you know how to drive? Listen, I know you named after an ancient mythical demon, but still. I and mean, yes, I know that you're just forced to do aesthetic stuff. Oh, somebody logged off here. Joe, he's sleeping. I never log off here because I'm always afraid to fall through the floor. But uh, let's see. FedEx, I believe, had some walls on him. I'm hoping so, at least. Yes, 32 walls. We'll start with 16 here. Actually, let's put that on Urtu. It's not going to hurt anything. And I'll grab the other 16. Oh, wait, I didn't put him on there, too. I see what happened now. I see what happened. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to learn how to play this game one day, you guys. One day. All right, here we go. Okay, back in the air, or two. So, I'm not going to do the inside the same way due to the fact that I'm going to have some floor that, that comes out. Um... Let's see, because I thought about it, and I think if I had a bird nest, it would be up higher, and it would be like on this level access, so that's probably what I'm going to do. I just need to place these floors. Now, what I learned about this, too, is that you see how they just placed, like, that should not be able to be supported, but it is because, and there's a little bit of lag, because of the behemoth gate. So the behemoth gate actually supports them. They just need something to snap to, which is where the pillars come into place. So all around, it's looking pretty spiffy, if I do say so myself. Let me see how many more of these walls I can add on without destroying anything. Oh, uh, and I done missed that. That is going to aggravate me. I'm going to have to go on the inside and um, and fix those because I did one like that earlier, too. Hold on. Let's come at it centered again just to make sure. A little bit further. Um, uh-uh. Okay, I think that was the second to last one. Yeah, and I should be able to get the last one right here. It's so complicated building like this, you guys. It really is. We need a better building engine, orc devs. Please hear our cry. <laughs> we love to build. We love your game. Give us the ability to play with it. All right. <gasps> Dang it, I did it again. Ah. Oh. This is going to kill me. Okay, let's see at least how that works. I'd like to see if I can actually go down and um, and fix that. So let's take the ladder. Can I, uh, can I get down, please, her too? Oh, boy. I'm stuck on birds. All right. I can see that this is not going to end easily. All right. Here we go. Oh, Dactyl. I know you miss Speedy. Next episode, man. We did a taming episode last, so uh, there we go. Oh, wait. All right. Yeah, I try to mix it up, you guys, so that y'all don't get too much of anything. You know, so I hope I'm doing a good job with that. I know I do a lot of taming as it is. Stone wall. Stone ceiling. Stone dinosaur gate. 
stone gate frame, stone wall, no, demolished stone ceiling. I want demolished stone wall. Aha! Perfect! Okay, and there is one more right there and one more right there. Oh boy. Alright, let's see if we can get this. Where is it? Oh, it's right underneath me, isn't it? Stone wall. Demolish. Nailed it. You slips terminology. I also need to get these wires out of here. Because when I wire this place up, it is going to look great. Oh, no, no, no. Almost demolished the wrong thing. Electric cable. Uh-oh. This is going to be a problem. It's like it's too close, man. Or not close enough. Like it won't give me the option to demolish that electrical cable. We might need to build some ladder to get to that. Let's do one more of these. Stone wall. Alright. And we can probably make one. Nice. Okay. So... Yeah, still can't place from the inside. I'm going to have to place from the outside. But that's going to wrap it up for today, you guys. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm going to go ahead and just dive off right here. Just to show y'all the outside where the, the molding's at. So, yeah. I hope y'all like it. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Next time we come back, I'll probably have a little bit more done on it. Maybe one level. I think I'm going to raise it up by two more walls upward to make that pin I was talking about and seal in that floor so that we can get up and down uh, from the bird list, uh, from the bird nest, I guess. And then we'll start expanding outward from there. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank y'all so much for watching. If you did, please leave a like on the video. It really helps me out. And as always, if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, you can subscribe for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off and we'll see you next time.